we're in the middle of a long section on expectation and this is a new subsection that is called moments. In the previous subsection we defined the expected value of a function of a random variable and this particular function of a random variable comes up quite often. It is the expected value of x minus mu which is the population mean squared and it is a measure of dispersion or spread of the probability distribution of a random variable x. Now why is it a measure of dispersion or spread? Well if you take x minus its mean and square that and then take the expected value you are looking at something that will say how far does the probability distribution of x stray from its mean. If it's all tightly clustered about its mean then this expected value will be small. But if it is spread out all over the place then this expected value will be large. So it turns out in the definition below here the expected value of x minus mu squared is known as the population variance of the random variable x which has mean mu and we have special symbols for that. One way of writing this is sigma squared another way is v of x. Some authors you will see will write this even as var of x but in any case it is well known it is the population variance and one last thing I'll put the word units down here in the lower right. What will be the units of the population variance? It turns out that since you are squaring this the, the units of x minus mu will be the same units as the random variable x but when you square it the units will be the square of whatever the units are of the random variable x. Now there is another type of measure of dispersion. We did not have to square here. And by the way the squaring says if the distribution falls to the left or to the right of mu it gets counted equally. We could have put an absolute value in here instead of squaring and that would give less weight to the tails. That has a name and it's called the mean absolute deviation but it is not as popular as the population variance.